I, I when I was a kid, I like like I turn off the lights, right? Like if I was in like a basement or something, I turn off the light and I run upstairs. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You like feel something chasing yeah, you. What's up guys, David here, and you may have heard about the Moto Z where you could connect a projector to the phone with this modular design. Well, today, we're not looking at something like that. We're looking at a more ghetto solution in the smartphone projector 2.0. This is something that I found while browsing Amazon again, and uh, it looks pretty cool. Apparently, according to the box, you plug in your phone, and out comes an image. First thing I wanna comment on, <laughs> Why is, there, why is there whiskey right here? I feel like I'm missing something now. That right there, is this looks like little dials for uh, the different focal lengths. You got the projector hole itself. Could this turn? No. Other side, more little fake dials. <laughs> so basically it's a fancy cardboard box. It's a fancy cardboard box that looks like it's a real projector. Oh, okay, there you go. So inside, we've got a bag with all our goodies. <laughs> it's all cardboard, this is cool, this is cool. So it said ready to go, it's not ready to go. Why does this always freaking happen to me? You need to find a way to get that damn glass inside there. <laughs> Without breaking it. Oh. Okay, there's a lot of steps to this. I gotta download an app too. <laughs> you guys don't know what I'm doing in here. Global rotation, and then we do reversed landscape. Cool. It took me like freaking 20 minutes to set this thing up and figuring out how to set it up. But I think we're ready. Got a sticky pad that came in the box right here. Got the lens installed. And now, in theory, with the app on here in reverse landscape, I should be able to put this on, close. Can I turn off the lights? Yeah, turn off the lights, turn off the lights. All right, first attempt didn't work. <laughs> Obviously, we're doing something wrong. So, you know what? What if we, uh, what if, we're, what if this is backwards? In fact, I think that makes sense. Hopefully that's it. Only one way to find out, and that is testing it. Attempt number two. All right, uh, Jay, you wanna kill the lights? No, actually, you know what? H hand me a piece of paper and uh, hold, on to, uh, hold on to this. I've always wanted to be a projector screen. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, so, no, this, this box actually expands backwards. Okay, you know what? Here, turn the lights on. Okay, so one thing we just found out is the box actually pulls back and forth. So you can make the image bigger and smaller depending on where you put it, but I think there's, I think that the room here is not dark enough. It's actually daytime outside. We have windows, a little bit of light is leaking in. So we're gonna go to the darkest room known in this office. And that's the bathroom where there's no windows just for the sake of seeing if this thing will work. All right, so two guys in the bathroom right now, kind of awkward, but for the sake of showing you guys this, um, go ahead and play Bob's Burgers. It's not December yet, and I, I and I so you might, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it works. It's kind of clear, like right there. I can see it pretty clearly here, but it's not the brightest at all. All right, so we're back from the bathroom break, and as you guys saw, it does actually work. It's not the best, it is really dim. In fact, we had to turn the camera settings all the way up just for you guys to be able to see it. Me and Jay were able to see it okay, but again, it was really, really dim. We're in a pitch black room, and we're using the S7, which has one of the brightest screens out there. I don't think I'd buy it. That's your guys' call if you guys wanna check it out. I'll put a link for you down below in the description. But uh, if you guys like videos like this, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.